Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Yashiraj and this is, this is just the value. The unbelievable value of tempo in this game. Early quest gives you direction for tempo level to the moon. We're talking ghastly mask plus walking fort. It's just dumb. It's just silly. It's just actually silly. How many games go this direction in this game? If you get that many stats that quickly and you 15 everybody, the lobby just ends. That's it. Nothing else to be said and done. You look at your final board and you're like, that's a final board? Because if everybody's dead, there's nobody left to contest. It doesn't matter how big their board was going to be a couple turns later. All right. <laughs> Enjoy. Blizzard sandbagging you? No, we just haven't had the... We haven't had the game winner quests in cheese lobbies. And in high MMR, everyone knows the cheese lines. So you see the person that's going to get the win. We would be able to steal it on Galacron, but like that game as well was a, was a cheese board. Stay down till turn 14 or turn 13 on Tavern 3. Mmm, cheese. Mmm, cheese. With this becoming a broken record here, I know, but we haven't set in a few hours and there's all new people here. But this is this right here. Scan the list of those heroes. This is why I hate quest meta. Remember when you used to play fun hero powers? Instead of the number 20. <laughs> Remember when you used to play interesting heroes instead of the number 17? I remember. AFK, Greybal, Sneed, Rag, Sendragosa, Azumon. <laughs> All those wins and not much of a climb. I mean, this is what happens around, around top 10. You're not going to climb much. You can't have bad days. Like we had one... We had a day of a 4.4 .4 average on Friday. We played 12 games, right? 4.4 .4 average, dropped 600. Today, much better. Ever since that day, we we're on the climb right back up, but one bad day will do you. A little dab will do you. Okay. Okay. He went two. Should be okay to win the round. Maybe we can hold Shell Collector for a turn. But like our overall average since Friday is a 3.2. That's not bad by any means, but like where are the firsts, Bofer? <laughs> where are the fucking firsts? Look at that distribution. It's so sad. Like our normal in the entirety of the season. Look at that. Look at look at that distribution, right? Like it looks normal. Where are the fucking firsts, Bob? quest meta man the person that's winning is it's kind of being gifted the line and you just drop that first place rate down then again there's other people trying to take the opposite approach like watching eddie today was really interesting because he's going for a much more feast or famine line and his games are all like first or seconds and then a lot of like sixths six sevens and i don't i genuinely don't think it'll it'll stay at the top but if you can zero in on the right amount of greed, it's great. You want to do a combination of the two, right? Just try to hold all this. We have a two star and two three stars. Or two uh, imprisoners. Try to hold some resources for quest turn. Mm -hmm. Good enough. Patrick counts as having some armor, correct. It was 15 last quest meta. They haven't confirmed the number now. But somewhere in that range. Increase stats 15 times. I see. Summon 20 minions for double end of turn effects fort. Man, if that isn't just a second place line, I don't know what is. I really like snicker snacks in this lobby. All right, for you guys. For you. Sinful completable turn four, still not worth. Probably not. 
I don't think there's any real consideration there. It doesn't give you enough upside. It would be entirely tempo, but this line is also entirely tempo and it has much higher upside. Our hero power makes it really easy to get because we summon a minion in combat, then we summon it out of hand again. Not to mention, like, we have the, the taunts already for Fort. Yeah, I wouldn't want to win these rounds. Wouldn't want to summon anything worthwhile. Skyfin. Should have done that in the opposite order. I got a bad case of the dumb sometimes. Interesting. We just got to find a way to get this done next turn. We go 10 at the beginning of the turn, 11, 12 from these two, 13, 14. It's going to take some patience, Scouts, isn't it? God damn, man. Like, just give me any minion that isn't the worst minion. That's like the worst one runner runner. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. At least he didn't intercept the, tri the trickster's buff. That's something. Good kill there. Over, they synergize together. They do nothing of the sort. Alright, 14. Alright, Bob. Patient Scout. Uh, that'll do it. Snap picks. Remember how long this animation takes. Almost forgot. Snap pick. Just play that, but whatever. Did the important part. I've made that mistake far too many times. Forgetting that the, uh, that the quest proc animation takes like 45 seconds and just not being able to play it at the end. The Bofer, they synergize. It's worth getting. I mean, it's worth getting the, it's worth getting the four. I'm assuming that's what I was directed at. Like, this is just too good to pass on. Let's go. Moon is our home. What's that, a five next turn, probably? Just get Drakari. Have the ultimate fort count. What's the plan now, demons? It's uh, all tempo, and then cry about tempo not winning lobbies, mostly. A classic. Don't die. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much don't die. It's like you get taunt. Is there anything else that I really want to taunt? I could taunt the other trickster. Just level straight to five. Don't buy this. I'm kind of feeling just leveling here. Alright, Rewinder. 
Make us proud. You don't often have time to shine, but this is your moment. I think taunt second trickster and freeze until you're on six. It's okay, yeah. Just make like the trickster even bigger. I don't hate the rewinder though. We could pick up a uh, coin or two in the middle of the game, pay itself back. Untaunted in the long run if we want to. Pick up the spell synergy stuff. But freezing makes it really awkward. But yeah, maybe just the stats on the trickster is better. That way you level with it. You just go all the way to six. Sell dragon hero pair. What do you think? Random five stars better than the eight twelve? If it's irrelevant for the turn, then you can make an argument for Baron, Bran, and Drakari are all good hits. Basically three out of 25. I was just thinking, since you can go for the high roll, yeah, if it's not better, it's not better. It's not like tempo is a uniform thing. If it's not better, it's not better. I think he wants us to teach him statistics. Oh, can you recommend? I thought I read it as can you, like you wanted to recommend it. My bad, my bad, my bad. All right, we'll, we'll just go. Fuck it. Let's go. Fuck it. Let's do this. I think I'd rather just be on six though. And if I take the triple, I can't level this turn. So we're using a lot of gold on five. Because I think this game just devolves into we buy mantids, we buy cultists, we buy what, you know, just a couple things. Make big number on board isn't that great. So we'd rather pivot away from it. But it's great for level in the six. Beatboxer. Surely we will find a way to make beatboxer work. Wasn't there a proof to show that one plus one equals two? I mean, there's proofs for practically everything. Can't say I've read that one. Feels like I could find better things to do with my life. But who knows? Maybe it's an interesting read. No lethal. You get to exist in this game so you can come back and kill us with your double death rattle board. I thought that gave us the triple because this thing went off at the same time. Double beatboxer. Mm, no. Mm, no. Both are I'm curious. You got a lady. Dude looks like a lady. Are we not singing? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Typically keep my personal life separate from streaming stuff. Just, you know. A personal choice. But we got a lady on the couch right now. Look at her. Look at her groom. <laughs> now you're determined to make me regret for saying the word groom this stream, aren't you? Like, I shaved, okay? Grooming. See? I have really short facial hair now. It's normal. I look like a normal person. I don't have a giant bushy beard. Normal functional human being. Quarter of an inch shaved on the sides, long on the bottom. Yeah, still not the right, still not the right card. But this whole, like, level to 6 and 15, everybody, is, is pretty nice. This game was free, not in the most fun way, but it is free. Like, you just look at the, the reward and go, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Thank you for the plus 20, bub. Or whatever on average. Not a fun free, but... Mm, no. Pants aren't bad. No. Mm, no. <laughs> I 
But we're just getting awkward and shit now. I mean, we, we have no Bramble Witch. We just need to get... All of this shit... Ramped up as best as possible. Bellbat's cute too. Probably not enough. There's not enough to really scale there. Time frame of the game is like three turns long. Appreciate the love, guys. Y'all been very, very supportive for these last three years. Take a moment of sincerity on the anniversary stream. You guys have made this a ton of fun. Not appreciate nearly every one of you. Most of you out there. <laughs> that playing BGs may go up and down. May not always be the best meta. But streaming's been consistently fun. Happy birthday. Appreciate it, dude. We're going to take our opponents. We're going to push them out of the lobby. That's our lobby. That's our game right now. Our game plan. We just push them out of the fucking game. You're not allowed to play. The fort demands blood. But seriously, though, how many games today? We get to turn 12, turn 13, and you're sitting here like top four scenarios. Potentially second, first range. We've seen games end on turn 12. Boo. Boo. I really want Sathara, Baron, Pants. This taunt's good. It's just cheap if we're going to take the Divine Shield. Because, like, that just ends the turn, right? No pants for you. Pants for you. I just regret this game not being Fort Bat. Bat is just almost... Almost besperched the name of Fort there for a second. That just isn't enough. If you don't have a significant amount of tavern buffing, and I mean like Rylek level, it just doesn't do that much. A double end of turn with Fort and Bat is kind of cute. Because you can eat the whole shop. Fire the Fort, keep the Bat. But, but why would we fire the Fort? He's done such a good job for us. Look at him just obliterating in this lobby. The question is just, do people die before they get real boards? Because, like, right now, we're sitting pretty just running people over with the truck. Just backing it up and running over top of them repeatedly. Yeah, don't don't be smirch Fort. Fort's done a great job carrying this damn game. Aw. I was kind of hoping we'd be in top two scenario here. Hmm. I don't think we go for a different hero pair. Could be okay, though. Consume the shop. Easy money. That's why we bought this card.
Untaunt isn't bad. Too expensive now. The upper hand lighter fighter combo to take this guy down. If he's relying on cultist, we're going to potentially light something on fire in his back line. Move forward up. I think I already beat you to that. Just try to get a slightly higher chance that Trickster dies first. Okay. 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 Okay, that's not great. I have seen better. <laughs> Honestly, wasn't even close. I've seen worse. <laughs> Poor help. Okay, he says, and the ghost. <laughs> All right. Good job, Fort. <laughs> Glad we did one more tonight. Fort MVP? For real, though. No. That was, that was something else. The Fort truck backed up and rolled over seven opponents. And and that's that. Clean W. I mean, those are the kind of lines that we call those free games, right? They may not be the flashiest. And they were saying like, this is a free second or a free third in the middle of the game. Sometimes there's like a 10, 15% chance that like everybody either picks tempo quests or like one or two people play like the good ones and they just get run over in the middle of the game by all the tempo quests and, and somebody just has to win. And games that devolve quickly into who has the best mid game board running over each other just incentivizes these kind of quests. When you see those lines, it's like, this is just a free game. Whether it's a first or a second or a third, it's just going to be determined by, by what our opponents hit. We just kind of AFK and see what we get. Galacron, far from it. Opposite side. We had to play 19 turns of try hurting that one. But we saw a lot of this shit today. And a lot of those cool bore three star free games. But we didn't get to see any of them from our side. You mean picking our entire game on turn four isn't fun? I don't want to be too downer. There's a reason I've never, never really try hurted any of the quest metas. The thing I love about BGs is adapting and, and changing what you're doing based upon the cards that you find over the course of the middle of the game. Like the first 10 turns are, can be a lot of fun. You'll lose that in quest meta. Quests just kind of dictate your direction from turn four for a lot of them. And you just kind of know what you're doing. And if you try to get creative, you just drop EV. Nope, nope, nope. Fully embrace it. Go all in. It's red hand. Go tempo, bro. It's menagerie mayhem. Tempo, bro. Fort board. Fort away, bro. 